It was two years ago a daughter saved her father's life by risking her own. And for this Donate Life Month, a family shares their experience. Our Brenda Mack has more. I have the kid home. How are you doing? Miss yep, love you. That video was taken two years ago, right after a kidney transplant. My dad, love you. The kidney donated by his daughter. I was working and dad called me from the mail and said they told him he needed a kidney. And I said, oh, kind of wasn't expecting that to hear that. Um, and we knew we were a blood match. So I said, well, you know, I went home and talked it over with my husband, Scott, and our kids and told that dad that evening that I would do it. And the next day I called the transplant coordinator at the Mayo and the ball started rolling. This is Terry's second transplant within 10 years. He's also a heart recipient and looking back, he is thankful. You know, I had a lot of mixed feelings. I didn't want her to put her through all this, you know, something go wrong. But like I tell her, she gets mad at me and I tell her that she's my hero. <laughs> <laughs> I just did what, without a doubt, was what I was, I mean, it's the right thing to do and what I wanted to do. So I, I don't think I'm anybody's hero, I just. I know better. <laughs> Currently, there are more than 120,000 people waiting in line for an organ donation, but health officials are trying to reduce that number by educating the public on the misconceptions of donor registration. Here are the uh, medical science in terms of the safety of donating and receiving a transplanted organ has really improved our ability to do immunosuppression and keep the transplant alive in patients who receive them, and our ability to take really good care of people who are donating is excellent. In Minnesota, alone, there are 500,000 registered donors, but that's not enough to save everyone in need of an organ. Each day there's probably 20 to 25 people who die each day waiting for a transplant. And so that if we had more organs, we would be able to save a lot more of those people. Absolutely. It's a gift that there ain't really words to express. You know, when you go to say thank you and, and your gratitude, it's it's just overwhelming. The best gift you can give is the gift of life. So it pretty much says it all. In Bemidji, Brenna Mack, Lakeland News. And for more information, you can visit www.unos.org. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.